G'day Lawn Care World, I'm Ben from Catch Pro Australia and today I want to show you our initial thoughts and rundown of the Bush Ranger Spartan. Now, this is a 54 inch. We do only have about 20 hours or so on this machine. We are still getting to know each other, but we do know enough um, about the machine now to highlight its positives and negatives. So sit back and uh, join me on my initial review. Let's get into it. Okay, so right off the bat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the front of the machine here. So what we have is on the front casters here, we have semi uh, pneumatic radial tires. What we have here guys on this deck is a deep seven gauge deck. Now, um, one thing that's very impressive about this deck is that you don't get any blowout. Um, there's nothing worse for me personally when you're mowing um some decks out there they cut and clear fine but you get this blowout at the front or to the left side so that's one thing i've really enjoyed um obviously we do a ton of bagging and anytime you get that blowout um it really just um it kind of wrecks the job because you're trying to bag up all the leaves and they're kind of blowing out from the other side so um that's that's one thing that I really like. Not only is it a strong deck, but good uh, good airflow and everything flows out this way. So you can see this machine's a little dirty now. Um, one thing about these radial tires and the wider footprint of this machine is that we did notice it doesn't get bogged down in the mud uh, very easily. So um, we were comparing it to some other machines We'll switch to that footage and show you, but she goes really, really, really well in soft terrain. So if, um, you know, if you're going up any hills or you're going through muddy and soggy areas, this is where the Spartan really seems to excel um, in those areas. So that was one thing that we really liked. Now, this, um, this model is running the Kawasaki FX 850V. Um, so, um, lots of people would know, um, look, we really like the Kawasaki's. They just seem to run, um, I don't know, look, they're, they, they're easier to listen to. They don't have, you know, that loud piercing sound. They've got quite a nice sound to them. So, um, around here at the rear also, we've got like a really good engine guard so that if you do happen to have a little whoopsie and you're back into something all of this area is going to be protected there is um i didn't actually notice this there's actually a standard receiver hitch which is pretty cool so if you want to tow uh any little trailer or um you know a big spray boom or something like that you actually have this already incorporated into the rig so that's pretty cool that's something that i've just learned now um obviously you do have your rollover bars um a lot of the time we have them down in case we're working around trees and so forth so um what we'll do now is we'll head up on top of the machine and run you through some of these features that aren't seen on any other mullet so down over to the uh keypad area so you have a 12 volt um port in here if you need to charge any of your uh phones um maybe your hearing protection or, or what have you so um one thing that's i mean a lot of the mod, a lot of models are having uh putting these in these days but look something that's really good about it is that you know even if you end up getting a flat tire you have a leaky tire you can plug a um a small air compressor in there and when you're on the job and that really gets you out of trouble so um what we have here is obviously the keyless start um so basically um with this keyless start you have a keypad dial here now you can change um your keypad um starter code we just have ours at one one and as you can see this green light has now turned on um telling us that it is okay to start the machine if you have for example the handbrake off this will now highlight in red 
and it will actually tell you why you can't start your machine yet and it'll say the parking brake is not engaged so once we push this back on we're all good to go and start this now so along with um an hour meter you will have your um that one there is that's just a that's just a clock which is pretty cool um this here is your engine hours and that's your cutting hours so that's pretty good to know as well so when you want to um, do any of your services um, it'll let you know now some of the other features that we have here uh, that's your rpms that's your volts that's pretty cool so we do have a little bit of muck here um, so that tells us that the battery is all cool and down here is your service intervals it's actually telling us to change the oil we did change this oil um, early at 10 hours so this is now responding now that we're up around 20 hours this is telling us to change the oil it will go away soon just remember to record um all your oil inter intervals if you're not running directly off this so um pretty simple here it's just your blade engage and your uh, revs here and obviously you have a choke if she's cold now what we have here is a pretty cool um height adjuster system now I am a little bit torn between the system. I'm I am more used to the uh, traditional pin. You know, you just bung a pin in, choose your level. Look, I love this system in the sense that. Um, so right now we're on uh, five inches. Now down here in Australia, we're we're typically cutting around two inches. You know, anything like that. Um, that system is good. Um, so one thing that we have noticed about this machine is that if this dial is not set properly um the machine if you're driving over bumpy terrain which um yeah so typically a lot of my jobs even if you have a look at this paddock it's just um there's really nothing nice about it but this machine if this is not adjusted properly from factory or from your dealer um basically the deck will hop up and down and it will um select a lower level um automatically so when it's jumping up and down there is every chance that you will go from cutting on two inches to say one and a half or one and a quarter and obviously we know as being professionals how much that can really just mess up a whole lawn under here see this nut that we're looking at this is actually the um tensioner nut for the height adjuster system now if your deck is dropping while you're mowing you can actually tension this up and that will tension this knob up here now you really don't want to do it too tight because that won't actually that will actually stop you from moving that dial but once you get that right and get that at the right tension your deck will stop dropping and um you know you'll love yourself for it because there's nothing worse than a deck dropping um you know whilst you're mowing so coming around here we'll just um open this flap up so it's got a really quite a nice opening in there um notice that the factory blades that come out with these rigs um are really good quality really good strong um have nice throw on them so that's something that we've really liked. We don't have any problem cutting any grass uh, with this machine. So um, it stripes really nice. And that's actually saying something because we can't stripe in Australia. Um, <laughs> so, but it does leave nice big uh, 54 inch lines. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a look at this seat system. Now, this is not the high end model. So the high end models will have a different seat. What we have here is more of a standard seat. Um, I do find the seat pretty comfortable and good quality. Um, what we'll do is we'll lift this up and just travel around here. So we're just gonna lift this up. Okay, so underneath the bonnet or the seat, um, it's all pretty standard. So you just have your battery there. You've got your integrated um, hydros here. Uh, what I want to talk to you about is this tech pack system. So you can adjust these. Um, we'll head around. 
Okay, so you can adjust these according to your weight. So if you're a pretty light person, you can forward this down to the 100 pound mark. If you're a heavier guy, you can come back here. Now, we've messed around with this um, in a heap of different styles. I'm about 70, uh, 75 kilos. I don't know what that is in pounds. It's like, I don't know, probably 150 or something like that. Rusty's about the same weight. He might be a little heavier than me. Um, so we've had this all the way forward, all the way back. Now, where we are with this, we have found is really, really, really comfortable, or the most comfortable it can be. So, um, obviously, along with along with all of these adjustments, you have your lap bars here, which can be adjusted in several different ways. So you can just really easily with these knobs, you can move this forward or backward. Um, that's really cool. And then also, your whole seat the whole system can move forward or backward as well. So um, you can, when you first get the rig, um, you really wanna spend the time at getting it as, as comfortable as you can for yourself to just allow for the best experience. So staying with the um, controls. Now, one thing that I'll, like I've been driving a lot of zero turn mowers lately. And obviously this is personal preference, but these lap bars are like really touchy and responsive and I love it. So, um, look, I know there's people out there that don't like it being so, super responsive, but for me, it just means lesser movements. So, um, if you're in, you know, when you're doing your, your typical zero turns and everything like that, you're really doing much smaller movements. Um, some people just like to feel the machine more and so they want it more rigid. Um, I personally love how they're very finicky and touchy. Um, I mean, the best way for me to describe it is, is being responsive. And so uh, when you're doing those tight maneuvers, you're not moving those handles forward and backward very far. You're really just feathering them with your hands. So it's something that I really like. Um, something else that's super cool, guys, is all of this rubber dampening. So, um, look, it really takes a ton of that vibration out. There's nothing worse than uh, jumping on a machine and just listening to the bloody thing rattle. Um, so, um, and it's quite... It's quite comfortable on your feet as well. You don't get that vibration running up through uh, your feet. So um, this area here for your drink, um, look, it's one of the better ones that I've seen. I still think a lot of the mowing manufacturers, if they're gonna go to the hassle of, um, you know, having a molded section for cup holders, I, I still think that they can all improve um, because you're pretty limited to what you can fit in there. And then also they're just, all of them are just too shallow. They just need to bloody put that down uh, so that you can actually fit a decent sized drink in there. Cause if you're cruising around with a one liter bottle, uh, she's gonna sit in a little bit. She's gonna be way up here. You go over a bump and you know, she's, she's gone skis. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm not picking on this machine in any way. I'm picking on every machine in the industry. So, but this is pretty cool in here. What I'd like to actually see um, with some of these machines is they have these areas here for your phone and stuff, but um, which is great if you're just potting around. But when you're really going hard, I'd actually like to see like a little cover over them. Um, so this is certainly, like I said, it's not a negative point of this particular machine, that's really just industry wide. Um, and that's just my thoughts as well. Uh, there is a seat belt, but uh, it's probably only being used once and it was probably by Rusty. Um, so overall guys, um, positives of this machine, cuts really well. Um, you know, this doesn't mean anything, this doesn't necessarily mean anything to everyone, but I mean, it looks really good. Like just the gray, um, obviously our machines down here in Australia are, uh, bush rangers. And so we have the blue highlights, not the orange, but the machines look really cool. Um, 
instead of that, you know, everyday red or orange or yellow that you see out there. Um, so overall, look, pretty comfortable machine. It's got a great look. It does perform. The negatives would be this height adjuster. Um, and it's not the height adjuster itself. It's just whether or not it's tensioned properly underneath. Um, I do believe the new models um, coming out for 2021 have gone back to the pin system. And there is every, um, there is every chance that the new pin system can be retrofitted to these so that would be something a good peace of mind so overall guys look we've got 20 hours on this machine um bush ranger here in australia were kind enough to let us mount some of our products to it so we have the catch pro over here and we have the advanced shoot that we sell at catchpro.com.au and um, this is our first thoughts and we're just going to keep uh, mowing with this machine basically for as long as they let us um she's looking a little dirty at the moment but that's cool because uh goes to show it's being used all right guys peace out